Hello everyone and welcome to episode 11 of TV 101. In this episode, we will learn how to draw perpendicular lines to a given line. Stay tuned. Okay, so I have here two lines, line AB, line AB. Both are 90 millimeters in length. Now, on the first line, there's a point P. At the second line, there's a point P that is not on the line. So this point is on the line, this point is not on the line. So we are going to draw perpendicular lines to both lines one passing through point P the other passing through point P but please note that for the first demonstration point P is on the line while the second demonstration point P is outside the line so let's start with the first demonstration you will need your compass you're going to open your compass to a convenient radius right once you have done this you're going to place the compass point on point p and draw an arc that will cut the line at both the left and the right so i'm going to call these new points c and D. Now I'm going to take the compass and open it a bit further to a convenient length. I'm going to place the compass point at C and at D to swing two more arcs with the same setting. So I'm using the same radius for C and D. The radius can be different for the first arc, but the radius for the second arc and the third arc must be the same. So after, after I've done this, I'm going to simply take my set square to draw a line. I'm going to do this in construction lines. I'm going to take my set square and my t-square to draw a line that is passing through point P. And this line should also pass through point, I'll call, I'll call this point E. So here, there you have it, a line that is perpendicular to another line that is passing through point P on the line. I'm going to go to the next line. And if you notice, point P is not on the line. I'm going to open my compass such that when I place the compass point on point P, the compass stretches past the line or below the line this is done because i want to cut the line twice at the left and at the right so once i've done this please pay attention to the construction lines once i've done this i'll call these two points C and D. Once I've done this, I'm going to take 
the compass point, you can keep the radius or you can change it and cut two more arcs. These arcs must intersect. Do not shift the compass in the process. I'm going to now take my set square and connect these this new point I'll call it point E passing through P so here you have it a line that is perpendicular to other to another line that is passing through a point P that is outside of the original line. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the page and share the video so that you can share the knowledge.